Yo, and welcome to this guide. Today, I'm going to be explaining the Master Diver achievement and Blood in the Water daily thing that goes along with it. You might have even gotten it without even knowing it. Have you ever gotten these ornate rusty keys? You can get them once a day. There's a daily that happens every day called Blood in the Water, which just requires killing 10 crates within a 24 hour period, basically before reset. Just kill any 10 crate. I need to kill one more to get my daily key, so we're gonna do that today, uh, right now. This is the place I like to go if I feel like, this is, when I needed to farm the keys way back, this is where I went. I've already done the whole set, so it's not a big deal for me now, but this is where I go, because I know there's just a bunch of crate here. So, well, we only need to kill one more, but let's say you need to kill 10, and on your 10th crate, Boom. Blood in the water. Alright, so now we have keys. We have 14 keys. So what do we do now? Well, now there's the Master Diver. What you do is when you have at least 10 keys, you can do the entire set of chests. And I'm going to show you where those chests are now. So, you can either do these once a day by getting your key, or wait until you have all 10 keys and then do the whole run. You'll get a bunch of achievements, but you can do this con continuously to get all the way up to 50. Once you do the whole set, you get five. So it's worth doing. You get an achievement, Freebooter. And you also get this, which is their Swede, their swim speed infusions. I don't really think they're that useful now that there's underwater mounts, but you can use them to get a unique skin. So that's something. Um, we'll find out how much these actually cost, uh, how much they're worth later. We'll actually check. But for now, I'm going to show you where the chests are. So let's do that. The first one is in Gandharan Fields. So we're going to go to Gandharan Fields and I'll show you where it is. Okay, let's go. So here we are in Gandharan Fields. You want to go to this waypoint right here. The North Fields waypoint. And the chest we're actually looking for is over here. At the shrine. And there it is, see? Sunken chest. So if you have the key, you can go up here. There's usually always at least three veteran crate that are guarding it. I'll help these guys out because I'm a nice guy. Um, but there's always, every chest is usually being guarded by three veteran crates. So keep that in mind. Yeah, you can hit this, boom. You get, you get some rare gear, some pieces. You get your speed infusions. And you get some other stuff. That's the first one. The next chest, we're here in Harathi Hinterlands. Uh, you're going to use the, right here the Shield Bluff Waypoint, is the waypoint you'll take. And you're going to want to go over here to Kufulu. Um, a lot of these chests are actually in Quagon areas, so it's a common thing to think of when you see these chests. Um, but not always, it's not always the case, but it is, it is a common, common thing. Ta-da. And then you can see again. The next one's in Blood Tide Coast. So let's go to Blood Tide Coast. All right, so here we are at Blood Tide Coast. Uh, you want to use the waypoint, Laughing Gull waypoint. And it's kind of like over here. It's going to be diagonal from Sullivan's Wake. I'll show you. It's in a sunken ship. So you'll see, you'll, once you get used to the landmark, you'll know where it is. No real problem. Nice. Next one is in Kessick, Kessick's Hills. So let's go. All right. We're here in Kessex Hills, and you want to teleport to the Overlake Haven Waypoint, and you're going to go over here to the Crates Larder. So, boom.
Ta -da, got it. So then we'll check the next one. Uh, I already have the next one, but we're going to go show you where it is anyway. So we're going to go to the Iron Marches. So let's go to Iron Marches. Here on the Iron Marches, you want to use the Waypoint Brand Watch Encampment Waypoint. And we're going to be going diagonally up to the lake over here. And it's right here. I already have the chest, so I can't open it. But here are the three crate guarding it. You can always look for those crate, and that's how you can usually find it. So after that, we go to the Snowden Drifts. So let's go to Snowden Drifts. Let's go. All right, here we are at Snowden Drifts. And the waypoint is the Vals Lake Waypoint. And you're going to go down diagonal over here to Urgulp. Quag on yet again. Ta da. All right. Frost Gorge Sound. All right. Let's go. So here we are in Frost Gorge Sound. The waypoint you want is this one here, the Slot of Despond waypoint, Sloth of Despond. Um, if I think this was one of the ones that can be contested. If it is, you can also go to Ridge Rock Camp because the where you're actually going is here near the Iron Horse Mines, the Grimstone Mall. This is where we're going. Get your loot. Nice, nice. All right, the next one in, is in Lonar's Pass. So I'll meet you in Lonar's Pass. All right. Here we're at uh, Gutra's Homestead here in Lonar's Pass. And we're going over here to the Dwarves' Gloaming area. Let me get our chest right here. All right, next one, Timberline Falls. So let's go to Timberline Falls. All right, here we are in Timberline Falls. You want this waypoint if possible, the Og Duck waypoint, because where we're going is right here, the Whispering Falls. Of course, there's an event going on, so I'm getting attacked, but that's okay. Got that one. All right. And then the last but not least is Mount Maelstrom. So let's go to Mount Maelstrom. All right. Here we are at, in Mount Maelstrom. Waypoint is the old sledge site waypoint. And we're going down here to the aqua base. You get the Master Diver completed. That's all of them. You get an additional five flat out just for doing all of them. Every time you do the whole set, you get another five. 
All right. So now we need to go to Lion's Arch to actually do something with them. So let's go to Lion's Arch and see what we can do now that we actually have them. Okay. So you come to Lion's Arch and we use the waypoint right here. Sanctum Harbor waypoint. Uh, and there's a character. She should be on the dock, I think. Yeah, Dive Master Astora. And then you can speak with them. I want you to learn and she'll explain how to do everything I basically explained in this video, but less efficient, so you're welcome. And then you're gonna just talk to, I wanna see your wares, so. You can trade them up just like you can with normal infusions. You can just keep upgrading them with more and make them, apparently you would swim faster when you have them equipped. And you can just keep going and get them up really, really, really high if you really want to get up there. Um, but if the real goal is if you get 512 of these, you can trade them in for one up for this. I guess I can wear the medium one or look like that. And that will become your aqua breather. So when you're underwater, it looks like your head's in a bubble. Kind of unique. So if you kind of want a unique uh, underwater headpiece, this is how you get it. Now, how much do they, how much are they going for? Well, let's see. You want to just buy them? Twenty two silver a pop. It's gonna cost you a lot if you just try to buy it flat out. So it's, might as well get the achievements and the loot and get your, you use up your keys and here you go. And then you can get a unique skin. So that is the master diver guide. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you and I will catch you in the next one. Till then, stay super.